When we first announced this garden, a lot of people were worried that by bringing AI and sensors and monitors into a garden, that could in some way remove a sense of nature connection. But what we wanted to do with this space is create an immersive, living, breathing garden that very much, first and foremost, is a garden. But there are these subtle integrations of technology that I personally think can encourage nature connection. If you can find out more about how the trees are faring, if you can understand uh, and gather data over a long term uh, and, you know, really use that data for uh, helping to specify the right trees, the right plants for the right place, helping to understand, you know, how climate change is affecting the amazing trees that we have in our urban landscapes, then I think there is a value in that. These are the dashboard screens that show data being collected in the garden. And you can see tree growth, humidity, temperature, and lean angle. And here you have some actions that you might want to think about. But the interactive aspect, if you scan this QR code, you can log in and then you can actually have a conversation with each tree. So using the power of AI, you can, I suppose you're kind of communicating with that data. Artificial intelligence is often negatively perceived for stealing jobs or using vast amounts of energy, but if it can be used to invite connection with nature and gather data to ultimately help protect, preserve and support the ecosystems that are so vital to our survival on this planet, then it can be used as a force for good.